Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make lighter chocolate mug cake. Now there are definitely a million recipes out there for mug cakes, and a lot of them are really, really decadent and involve a lot of really creamy, heavy fat ingredients. This one's a little bit different. It still involves a lot of delicious stuff that's all gonna to come together beautifully, but with just a little less guilt, I guess you could say. So this is just for one of those days when you feel like you need a little something sweet, you want something a little bit more than the average, you wanna mix it up, try something new, have a little bit of mug cake, this recipe is for you. Okay, let's get started. I will say right now, normally this is something that you would just make for yourself. You make one serving, but I'm not gonna deny that there are two awesome people in the room with me right now that really deserve chocolate cake too. We have Matt, who does all of Jeff's videos, and also mine, and then also Emily, my amazing producer, <laughs> who helps out with a million jobs. She deserves chocolate cake as well. So I'm gonna be making three today. First, we start with some ground flaxseed. Not the most exotic or delicious sounding ingredient, but this is gonna be our egg replacer, so it's very important. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to each one. Divide that up between those three. We're gonna just let that sit and do its thing. Next, we're gonna start with our mugs. You just wanna choose a mug that will work well in the microwave. That's all you need. For me personally, I like brightly colored happy mugs as you see here. I'm gonna start with our dry ingredients. Our first ingredient is garbanzo bean flour. This flour is amazing. It is nice and high in protein and fiber. I use it in a lot of recipes these days. Just three tablespoons in each mug. Making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. Next, we're gonna use some coconut sugar. Coconut sugar resembles brown sugar a lot as far as flavor profile. I like it quite a bit. It's got a nice rich flavor. But if you wanna go totally sugar-free, you can also use monk fruit. When it comes to those monk fruit packets, you need about three packets for each mug. Of course, you'll be able to find the full recipe on AudreyDunham.com. Also on AudreyDunham.com, you'll be able to find the brands that I use and the ones that I prefer in my recipes. Lastly, some cocoa powder. Just one tablespoon each. There we go. Some baking soda. Quarter teaspoon in each mug. And some salt, just to help round out the flavors just a little bit. Not much at all, about an eighth of a teaspoon. And then also with these dry ingredients, we'll add some of our chocolate chips. And just do a tablespoon into each one for now. We will be using more chocolate chips later, I should say. Look at how pretty that's looking already. Isn't that nice? It's resembling a little cake mix, right? Just getting those dry ingredients mixed together before we add our couple of wet ingredients. We wanna make sure that baking soda and salt is evenly distributed throughout the mix. All right, and then we just have a few wet ingredients and then we're good to go. Some vanilla extract, half a teaspoon into each one. Just adds a little extra richness to the flavor. You do three tablespoons of your favorite non-dairy milk. I usually use cashew, sometimes almonds. Finally, we have some almond butter, just one tablespoon into each one. This is the fat that we need to give that cake that richness. Except this fat is much better than oil because it offers some nutritional value. It has some fiber, some protein, some vitamins and minerals. Much better option here than just straight oil, that's for sure. And finally, we add that ground flaxseed mixture to each one, just like this. Just about 30 seconds of stirring. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started. Just 90 seconds in the microwave. Okay, the first one is ready to go. I have my little son Jack right next to the microwave there. I don't know how that got there, but it's so cute. I'm not removing it anytime soon. We have piping hot, delicious, steamy chocolate cake here. The last step is just to add one more tablespoon of chocolate chips. You know what, sometimes I do a little more than a tablespoon, but don't tell anyone. I'm gonna let that one sit for about two minutes, let those chocolate chips melt. In the meantime, I'll be microwaving these last two. Okay, here I'm so you go. It's my first mug cake that I've ever eaten. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be really it hot. It's hot. This yeah. is hot. So be careful. The chocolate really melts. Wow. Right. That's cool. Okay. And so that'll act as your frosting, but yep. then you also have chocolate chips all throughout, don't forget. So you're gonna get little melty chocolate pieces all throughout. Don't burn yourself. Mmm. That's so good. You like it? Yeah, it's really good. Yay. Mm. Kind of surprising, right? How easy it's it really is. Good. Oh, good. It's all in there. Right? Some of the chocolate. Yes. See Can the chocolate see in there? Yum. Yeah. That's good. Well, good. I'm glad you like Thank it. You for yes. The crazy thing is, thanks to that garbanzo bean flour, mm -hmm. you do have some extra fiber and protein in there. Yeah. Which is not something that you normally get with chocolate cake, right? And you also get that in your almond butter and your ground flaxseed to get the fiber. Oh. You could eat this for breakfast. Right? <laughs> 
Look at that. And it puffs up so nicely. If you want the edges to be nice and clean looking, you just rub a paper towel, a wet paper towel along the edges. If you're serving it to friends and you want it to look perfect, Matt deserves extra chocolate chips. So, there we go. Really hot. Please be careful. Ooh, look at that. Steamy. Proceed with caution. It's amazing. All of these ingredients mixed together, it turns into cake. I love how those chocolate chips act as frosting. It's kind of fun, right? Mm hmm. It's Thank a nice surprise. Yeah. All right, well, I'll let you tell everyone where to subscribe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My next step. That's helpful. All right. Such a nice treat. And with a little less guilt. Honestly, you should give it a try. I love this recipe. If you decide to, please let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I love to hear from you and want to know what you think. To catch more videos of mine, please click right here. There's plenty to see on this channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by clicking right here. And if you'd like to get instant notifications anytime that I post a new video, be sure to click that bell. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you all next time.